we are about to start our journey to Nankia. It's a local village north of here. We have two nights there. We hired a private shuttle again to take us up there. It was a little more expensive, but the only other transportation is a minivan packed full of people, and we don't want to travel that way. So we're spending a little extra bucks for convenience. Can't wait to get to the village and explore. It's supposed to be beautiful. So we just arrived in our hotel in Nankiao. It is so beautiful. This view behind me, we have this little restaurant we can sit right on the river. It is gorgeous, all surrounded by these huge limestone cliffs. It's supposed to be some awesome hiking around here. We can't wait to go explore. A little cozy room right on the river. It's pretty affordable and pretty simple. It'll work. I like that there's a desk though too. Toilet. Yeah. We are all checked in and it is lunchtime right now and I looked up a really good Indian restaurant that's here and we have not had Indian food in so long so I convinced the family and we're gonna go get some naan. So far, this place lives up to the hype. It is so beautiful. People are so nice. We just sat down at Dean's Indian Restaurant. I think all of us ordered the vegetarian set menu. Lentils, this is vegetable curry, spinach and tofu, garlic naan, and white rice. Lunch time. For the veg set menu, it was only 25,000 kip, which is like three bucks. So not bad for a whole plate of food. We really just relaxed on our first evening in Nankia. My parents went kayaking, which looked super epic, so definitely go as Sammy and I watch local life on the river.
enjoyed the sunset from the bridge with a couple new friends and then went to bed early to attempt a challenging hike that next day. It is a little before 6 a.m. We're about to do the famous hike up to Fa Dang Peak. So we're gonna buy our tickets. It costs 20,000 kip and you start climbing. swings kind of creepy though right whenever I walked up the swing was moving like it was swinging back and forth <laughs> I still sat in it even though there's probably a little ghost girl in it <laughs> but yeah time to keep on trucking Ooh, steep I never knew I could be this sweaty this early in the morning Whew. How beautiful this is. Wow, you definitely cannot see this town. It's a wee bit foggy. It is pretty steep here, but they give you ropes, which is nice. If you need help up, and kind of an arm rail. But it's not as easy as I thought. I think it's about an hour and a half total hike. We'll see how long it takes us. Ooh, that's what we came we to have. see. We are officially above the clouds. It looks so cool. I can't wait to get on top. The sun is rising, we got some light now. Makes it a little bit easier. It looks so beautiful. Sammy was just saying, I don't know if I can make it. She's like, but we're almost there. I'm like, we haven't hit the halfway point yet. <laughs> I didn't believe him. And here we are, halfway. Halfway point. <laughs> How you feeling? I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it. Yes, you are. <laughs> it is straight incline yeah. the whole way. Cool hike though. And it's a pretty well laid out path actually with handrails and ropes and it's easy. It's spooky in the morning. Yeah, it's cool. All the fogs blow us, now we're getting above it. It's gonna be so cool on top. How you doing, Mom? Fine. <laughs> I'm on the camera. I gotta be good. Wow, look how awesome that is. See the mountains and the clouds all below it? Wow, that's cool. So close. Alright, the last little climb. Last hill. This is unbelievable. Wow. Definitely 
worth the climb. This is one of the coolest hikes I've ever been to. The views for 360 are crazy. So many mountains to see. Clouds are covering the town right now, but unbelievable. Pretty magical too. There's about five monks up here too who enjoyed the sunrise. Wow, that was so much cooler than I thought. So beautiful, we actually stayed the whole time until the clouds all cleared up so you could see the city. Time to head back down now. I'm a little behind the family. But wow, if you come here, you have to do this hike. It's one of the coolest hikes I've ever seen. So this hike is definitely not easy. Make sure you bring shoes and plenty of water because it is pretty steep. It took us about an hour and 15 minutes, but we did take our time. If you're really hustling, you can make it in 45. So it's pretty nice on the hike. They also have little rest areas. So you can sit down, relax for a few minutes, and I recommend it because it does get tiring fast. It's 
pretty cool. They got some swings right at the first part of the hike. So afterwards you're done, you can swing out, hang out, relax. All right, finally made it back down. Back in town here. Gotta find the rest of the fam bam, and I am starving. It's time for some breakfast slash lunch, I guess. Whew. Such an amazing hike. Don't miss it. Unbelievable. <laughs> so I'm a little thirsty after the hike. So I ordered a hot coffee, an iced coffee, an orange juice, and my smoothie hasn't come yet. A peanut butter banana milkshake. I think he has enough liquids and he bought a big two liter bottle of water. I'm dehydrated. I'm gonna hydrate myself with coffee. Oh, there it is. What? Yes, add it to the list. Oh, thank you. And my smoothie. Oh, I'm ready. We're at the family bakery, cafe, and restaurant. And their coffee's actually delicious. The Americano was really good. Let's try the iced coffee now. I'm sorry, Jack, I didn't know that. I'm like, oh. And that's everything? Yes. Okay. All right, that was an awesome day. Delicious breakfast, kind of lunch. And that's it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. We are traveling to another village.